This is the Seiko SRPG39. Beautiful watch. I know I say all of my watches are beautiful, but I think they truly are. This one has the blue dial version. It's that blue. Going out to the dark, almost black toward the uh, minute track. It's got those thick pencil style hands filled with loom. The numbers applied. One through 12 at least. The 13 through 24 are uh, printed. The Seiko is applied. Supposed to be like a, I don't know, a patina gold. But those numbers, they just catch the light so well. As you move the watch, it's got a domed crystal, which makes for some interesting viewing. Almost that fish tank effect fishbowl. The dial actually has some uh, texture to it. It's a little green texture. Makes it really nice. Look at that second hand. The little arrow at the end. The black second hand with that red on the tip with the loom. Reaches all the way out to the minute track. And again, this one is a made in Japan model. I have it on this uh, vintage leather strap. Same version as the, the one I had on the SRPE 57J8, but in a tan color natural. Really nice straps. The case on this is not polished, it's not brushed. It's supposed to be like a worn in look. It's a field watch, military style, but I really, really like this watch. I have a story about how I broke one and then replaced it right away. And the loom on this thing is excellent. Speaking of that, let's take a loom shot. Boom, check it out, let's get it. Outside, then when you walk in, boom. that a little better let's see yeah, it's not as bright as uh, some of the loom shots but you get the picture now this originally came on this strap it says that it's Seiko calf well not Seiko calf but it's calf it's a nice strap, it's very thick, but it feels kind of spongy to me, like, I don't know. It's really nice though, it's bendy, but I prefer this distressed leather strap. Originally, when I first bought this watch, the one that I broke, I envisioned it on a tan sailcloth strap, which I, let me see if I can find it. Here we go. I bought this 10 strap with it, same time. And uh, this is not a Seiko strap, but I repurposed the buckle from another one of my Seiko straps. The strap is nice. It's uh, leather lined, sailcloth material, and it goes with the watch really well. This watch has drill lugs, so and these things are quick release. 
So it makes changing out the straps really simple. As a matter of fact, let's do that here now. Boom. Boom. And let's see. Get that nice satisfying click, not that one, but uh, there you go. And let's see if we could do this. Oh, there you go. And it's diff more difficult to do this on camera, but yeah, there we go. So I like those deployments because at this position, you don't run the risk of dropping the watch off your wrist. But looks really nice on this strap too. So let me know what you think. Which strap do you like better? OEM? Sailcloth? Or vintage leather on the point? But, let's wrap this up. Time for this guy to go home. It's 39.4 millimeter diameter, which is the sweet spot for me. I have a seven inch wrist and pretty much all of my watches are right there in that 39 to 40 millimeter range, except one. All right, let's get him back onto his little pillow. And send him home. Boom. Thanks for watching.